Well, now we have our three balls of yarn and we have some fabric, so we're gonna start assembling. So I'm just gonna take one of the blankets and lay it across this way so it's hanging out of the basket. And then I'm gonna take the other one and kind of really lay this one across. I want it look like, to look like it's really coming completely out of the basket. And lay it like that. And then I'm gonna take my three balls of yarn and I'm gonna set them on top, one, two, three. Now you can see, actually I'm gonna reposition these. I'm gonna put this one here because I'm covering the area that has blanket. And I'm putting this one here and then I'm putting that one there. I'm covering the area where the blanket wasn't covering the inside of the cake. Now technically the blanket would be underneath the ball of yarn but we're gonna kind of cover it and make it look illusion, like an optical illusion so that it looks like they're coming out. So we've got our yarn in there and we've got our blankets. Now the next step is we need yarn. We need a lot of yarn to be coming all over. We need these to be rolling. So I'm gonna take my pink and my purple and my teal and I'm gonna put them back in my extruder and I'm gonna make all kinds of yarn coming out and around. So let me go get my extruder and we'll keep going. Now we are going to add a little bit of extra yarn. You can see I've used the extruder to do some purples and some pinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these and I'm just going to lay them kind of around so it looks like they've extra yarn has come off around the roll. I'm going to cut this end here. Sometimes they'll get sticky and stick together and you just kind of have to pull them apart. But you want to have like pieces of yarn so it looks like they've all just been. And this is where I'm covering up parts that I don't want to see because it's all about covering your mistakes as opposed to worrying about them. So there you go. So I've covered that and now I'm going to take my pink and lay my pink kind of around here. And I'm not being very exact. I'm just laying it there. I've got kind of a section here where I dinged up the basket. You can see kind of right there. So I'm going to take this strip right here and I'm going to have that just completely lay over that so you don't really even see it like this. Add little pieces. because you just want it to look like yarn that is kind of unraveled in the basket. And now I'm gonna get my blue and lay a bit of my blue around and get that going out. I want a really long strip with these because I want them to be able to use all kind of laying it all around. This one I'm gonna kind of go all over. I'm going to make it look like it was the last one used and so some pieces have been hanging over the other pieces as well, see? So, take those, I'm going to put it like that, take a couple more pieces, dangle them here. So, this is just a fun one because you really don't have to worry about being at all precise because it's all just a ball of yarn. There we go. Now I'm looking here, I'm kind of looking around. Everything's pretty covered, but I've got kind of this raw edge right here where the you can kind of see too much of the purple. So I'm gonna take a couple of my pieces of yarn and I'm gonna lay them right in front of that so that those edges are hidden because you don't wanna see those ugly edges. But like I said, it's all about covering areas that you don't want to see. So let's pull this straight. We're going to add, oh, I'm out of yarn. I'll refill this and we'll add just a little bit more. We're going to look around and see where our mistakes are, see where our issues are, and we're going to cover those with a little bit more yarn, and then we'll move on to our measuring tape. 